need to shovel here. And it just, can you, um... It's so much better than it ever has been because of these products. What's something that works? Try this. It could change your life like it changed mine. touching you okay okay i think should be sharp she has this um feels like a lipoma right in her anti-cubital fossa that's what this area is and i just wanted to i kind of drew out where her little veins are here because she's like a her friend calls her a, a, a mickey mini mouse mickey mouse like a full of energy mighty mouse mighty mouse that is mighty mouse and i just want to make sure this is above the muscle here and I kind of drew out where the veins are there just to make sure that I could see where they are. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think I see the lipoma yet per se, unless this is exactly it. I have a feeling it's under there. far. Yeah, I think I see the pocket right there. Let's see if I can get to it here. It's like you got these little landmines everywhere, these little veins and stuff that are not important, but you know, they just make it a little bit messier per se. Mm. But that's okay. See it right there? This is right here. You said your friend is a nurse, right? Mm -hmm. What type yeah. of nurse are you? Oh, no, I, I worked at a hospital, Eisenhower Medical Center. I worked in x-ray. Oh, like x-ray tech for, or like a, yeah. okay. Yeah, and then I worked for a pulmonary doctor too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not hurting you, right? I'm just using my fingers to move things mm -hmm. around because then, you know, my fingers aren't sharp. Mm -hmm. I filed down my nails and everything. Because I, mean. <laughs> I see where it is, mm -hmm. but I, 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 I'm concerned about getting to it. Because there's a lot of little vessels here underway. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sad. It's sad. I was going to have you come over and take a look, actually, way <laughs> over my shoulder here. But I guess I can show you the video. See what I'm saying, girls? All you, all you yeah. girls is that... Here's the layer of fat right here. This is our layer of fat that we normally deal with. You know, we're taking out moles or whatnot. And then you see that it's under here under this fibrous membrane. You see all these little vessels and things underneath there? And little tendons and little important things that she has here. Mm -hmm. Under here, it's under there. It's tucked under there. See, it's under, under this layer. So it's really not something I can get to. I don't know how we're gonna get that out of you. 
safely like that without the problem is, is that may sacrifice like the movement of your arm the feeling in your hand the movement mm -hmm. in your hand mm -hmm. you know and you, maybe you're right handed but still we want both of them mm -hmm. I don't think I can even get that out on the side let me just try to see one little blunt intersection here Usually that's like a, a hand or an orthopedic even sometimes surgeon because I can't pop that whole thing out there safely. It's too under there. I'm just, just let me check on my, one more thing here. My T's are like Might not hurt you, right? Nope. See, I can see it right there. It's under there. This thing is in the way. Any way you can uh, like pull that back a little bit. Okay, let me see. Pull this back here lightly. I don't know how successful I am going to be at getting this entire thing out here. You guys watch these videos, right? So you know what I'm talking about when I say, you see that lipoma? Your friend sees this lipoma? Mm -hmm. See the little tip of it? Just a tiny little head of it, though. There we go. Maybe I can squeeze it out, maybe. Okay, keep it just like that. Mm -hmm. See if I can do a little wiggle. Yeah. But see, they break easily, so it's like you can't really necessarily pull it out whole. Come on. A little um, meerkat or something. <laughs> well, it's pretty, it's much bigger than this little bit that I'm seeing right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do multiple hemostats. I just try to tug it a little bit. You okay? I'm totally fine. Let's see if that won't even need, necessarily need it. Maybe it'll get in the way. I'm getting something. I'm going to get the whole thing. Hi, what happened? I looked away, it snuck back into its hole. Okay? Mm-hmm. I should have held that in there. Because now it's like shrunk back away from me. You know what I mean? Like I took part of it out and so part of it is shrinking back and going into that space that it was in. See why they're so like frustrating in many ways but satisfying it's like if they can pop out whole it's fantastic but they're like they break they're not something that you can uh, just like pull out you know mm -hmm. she's gonna say anything for me right now mm -hmm. grief. oh here it goes here it goes here's something sometimes I can squeeze them out Yay! but I don't know it's a very small hole I'm trying to squeeze it out that's the problem oh Come on, this one. If 
you get the whole thing connected, it will, it's great. The whole thing is just stuck together, then you know you get it all, you know? I don't know, there's a chance that some of it's gonna be still in there, but hopefully we're gonna get it all. That's what the goal is right now. I know I'm tugging on you a little bit here, but. Okay. But the goal is to get it all out, but it is like, a, um, I don't wanna tug on you too hard, or pull on anything that you need under there. I think this is the bottom of it though. You okay still? like a drama. Mm -hmm. It's like Dallas. I, I take it your friend likes to watch these more than you do. I feel like, yes, I can yeah. tell. She doesn't want to lock. She's, I don't she's really want to lock. I know, I understand, because it's you. Yes. I can push them a little bit farther away from me, thank you. It's just, all I need is this one corner now. That's good. I can feel it's right there. It makes me feel good about it. At least I gave it a try, and I think we, we, it at least was nice and contained in this little area. I just defined like one little opening for it. It's like you can't you reach down there and squeeze it from underneath. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense, you guys? I need that hook again, I think. So it's right, see that right there? And I can't get it out of that area because it doesn't know to go to that space to stick out. See, hold on, let me just see if I can find it again. Where's my opening? Here we go, here we go. Can you pull that back here again? It's actually yeah. fine. Okay, good. That's good to hear. That's a good sign. Actually. Yes, it is. Because there's fibrous tissue that are, is keeping this in here, and I have to grab like just the lipoma and not the tissue because then it doesn't pull out. Mm hmm. I need like a magnetic attraction with my hand that goes just <laughs> like a magician. <laughs> Come this way, like a, sea, like a snake that you like charm. That's right. It's just this, come on out. I can't squeeze it from underneath. Can't we just have a nice cyst, girls? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that just be nice to just have a nice cyst these days? Oh, that's so the oatmeal darn thing, lipomas. isn't it? Yeah, so of these darn mm -hmm. lipomas that are just so like annoying sometimes. <laughs> you okay? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm totally fine. Okay, I think this is mm -hmm. it. It's like a different color.
know I keep saying there it is, but then I say there it is, and then I take that, and then there's still something there. What causes stuff like this? Um, I just say life to people because they just happen when you're, um, they just happen because we are, you know, a, a one cell kind of goes crazy and decides to multiply and stuff. You wiggle your fingers all just fine, right? Good. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 look, look, look. Should I keep going? No, 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 you're good, you're good. You got it. It's right there. Come out. That's what yeah. was causing the trouble right there, right? Oh, you want to look? Don't look. <laughs> it's coming. Yes, now. Yeah. I'm sorry, hurting you? Uh, it went bit? right up my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's pulling on those nerves under there. That's why. Okay, you okay now, though? Mm -hmm. Still can wiggle your arm and everything? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Okay. You're a tough cookie. Well, I'm it looks good though. Sorry, yeah. it was I'm very so happy with it tough. <laughs> Sometimes it's tough, and I still don't feel like I'm super confident. Like, oh, but that looks pretty you good. Did. It, looks like it. it looks like it. I mean, sometimes if there's a tiny little bit something left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you go. Okay, you can you can relax your arm right yeah. now a little bit. It oh, aches. careful, your hand. Your it hand aches. Well, up don't, my arm. Don't put your hand here. That's okay. sterile. Okay. Okay. It can ache because sometimes the I kind of push the nerves around a little mm -hmm. bit, but that's okay. That's a good sign, right? Because oh, yeah, it means you can feel things. Okay, that's a good thing. And you can move things, you know. Yes. Yes. That's really good. We're fixing it up. We're not even going anywhere under like there anymore. So. I am so thankful that you can do this for me. Well, I just hope it doesn't come back. That's my main concern here. You know? That last little bit squeezes. Good. That's good. Yeah. I think we all saw it. I'm glad you got your friend the witness. <laughs> she saw it too. Yeah. So give her a nice wrap. We're going to wrap this real tight here too because, you know, there's numbing has something in it that helps stop or from oozing a little bit. And it didn't look like it was oozing. I don't think we got any vessels or anything. But sometimes when it wears off, it can ooze a little bit more. So we want to keep it nice and tight for like overnight at least. Okay. Like 24 hours, you have we would kind of wrap it. Okay. And then um, you can, can you come back in here to get stitches out in like 10 days or so? Or you got somebody out there that you want to? I suppose it could. It's pretty good though. You can come down here or would you rather have somebody out there do your stitches for you? Um, take them out? Yes. Take them out, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, um, you're not that far, right, you said? No, yeah, I'm then not. Yeah, let's do that. Like an, an hour? Normally we have people come out here, so. Okay. Yeah, that's to take the stitches out and we can see how it looks, too, and everything. Ten days, please. Okay. Does that land on a weekend? Uh, it's between 10 and like 14 days, I'd say. Okay. Or 9 to, to, to 14 days. Okay. So, I don't know, what's today? Today's Wednesday? 7, 8, 9, 10. I would do like maybe Friday, next Friday or something. Okay. Or Monday, I suppose, either way. Excuse me. I hope you get Oops, to feeling sorry. better. 
I know. I'm not. I passed out at lunchtime. I was really not doing well. Uh oh. But then I rejuvenated myself, so that was good. I took some decongestant, you know, and that, and that helps you so much. Like the something to like, uh, cause my nose, like I couldn't. My one one nostril was completely clogged, you know. Mm. Yeah, but it's better now. I can breathe. That's good. Yep. Yes. And we successfully removed this too, so that's even better too. I know it. There's no way for me. This is a good day. Yeah, and you did great too. You are very good. Thank you. And this mini Mighty Mouse. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because you deadened it so well. <laughs> yes. I don't use the word deadened. Oh, okay. Uh, numbed it. Okay. How's that? Yes. That's good. Just numb there, so it's just still swollen right there because I don't feel anything under there. Oh, that's good. There not be anything under there. It looks pretty numb. Look at that's it. Back to normal almost, other than yeah. the numbing. Yay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you.